in pocket. It's all in your head. So this is a Kawasaki um, um, beautiful uh, ZX 250R, 250cc, carbureted. Um, no ABS uh, came on this model. Um, they have a ton of upgrades. You can get these bikes. Um, they, you can get a fuel injection uh, system for this bike, I believe. There's some aftermarkets, and we should put that up in the uh, up in the video, and to give people links to that. Um, those of you who are familiar with the Kawasaki Ninja 250, many of you started off on this bike. This is an excellent bike for anybody who's either been away from motorcycling for a while, wants to get back into it, or is just starting out. These bikes are tracked a lot. Um, they make excellent track bikes, very inexpensive to um, run and operate, very inexpensive to insure, and very inexpensive um, to keep fueled up. So low maintenance bike, uh, high fun factor, and you can't go wrong with um, a an, Ninja an 250. Now, um, the Ninja 300s are nice because they have all the, the new bells and whistles, they're fuel injected, uh, and all that stuff. I like the wheels on this bike too. Okay. All right. Let's okay. get underway here. All right. Immediate impressions. Very, very light bike. Clutch is very easy to use. Um. Okay. Yeah. This. This is, this is this is fun. You really get that. Uh, really doesn't start to pull until the RPMs come up. But once she gets up there, not too bad. Now you can tell by the uh, severe drop off of that upshift that it's not a close ratio gearbox. Um, but I'm sure that when you get into the higher gears, they're situated. To get into the higher gears, they're situated close to, closer together. Yeah, this is a very nimble bike. As far as uh, you know, 250s go. The braking is decent, but because it's such a light bike anyway. This would be something, this would be ideal for something like, you know, um, more local and heck, this, this would even make a, a great track bike uh, to work on technique and stuff. You could have a lot of fun on this bike. Yeah, you could have a lot of fun on this bike. It is a bit loud, um, so uh, you'd probably, I don't know if you'd get used to that for long durations, uh, for long periods of time, but yeah, yeah, you could, you could, uh, yeah, you could really throw this, you could throw this around just fine. This is great for, uh, great for like, heck, even a second bike, for that matter. Being around here, just uh, playing with some of the slower speeds, lower RPMs. That's like if you were tooling around looking for a parking space, something. But, uh... You really don't start to feel, um the bike coming to life after you get it at like you gotta get it above like eight nine thousand eight or nine thousand rpm or to start to wake up but um you know this is the kind of bike that will not overwhelm you
Sounds nice with the Yoshimura. Yeah, this, yeah, this would definitely be great to, to practice technique on a track. You know, have a little bit of fun on the on the uh, tight technical roads. Yeah, it, it's very apparent why this bike has the amount of appeal that it does. Um, because it's light, it's economical, there's lots of parts for it. It's a, it's a decent looking bike too, I have to say. Um, this, this particular makeover here of the bike, uh, they did a, a, a good job on. And then of course the 300 is a little bit more in keeping with the contemporary designs of the rest of their lineup now. But yeah, the mirrors are good. Um, the layout is decent. Uh, there's been some complaints about the positioning of the clocks and some would prefer to have the tack, uh, you know, in the center. And the, um, the, uh, the odometer off to the right. Or the left. Anyway, yeah. Decent bike. A lot of fun. Lots of fun. Lots of fun. Very, very nice.